New York City, the Big Apple, a vibrant metropolis that never sleeps. With over 8 million residents and a massive $1.2 trillion economy, it's undeniably one of America's crown jewels. But the city's importance stretches far beyond its boundaries, serving as a vital transportation hub for the entire nation. The sheer scale of human movement and economic activity flowing through New York is staggering, a testament to its enduring significance on the world stage. Without this crucial nexus, the very fabric of modern American life would unravel. Truly, New York is the beating heart of a nation on the move. Each day, over a million commuters travel into the city, their journeys made possible by a vast network of roads, railways, and waterways. Among them, two unassuming tunnels beneath the Hudson River play an outsized role in keeping the region and the country moving. These twin tubes, though seemingly unremarkable, are the linchpins of a vast transportation web that spans the eastern seaboard. Without them, the flow of people and goods would grind to a halt, paralyzing commerce and crippling the economy. In many ways, the fate of the nation rests upon these humble tunnels, their importance belied by their unassuming facades. Built over a century ago, the North River Tunnels are a crucial link in the Northeast Corridor, a rail artery stretching from Washington, D.C. to Boston. Despite their age, these tunnels carry a staggering 200,000 passengers and up to 450 trains daily, making this 16-kilometer stretch the busiest rail line in North America. The sheer volume of traffic they accommodate is mind-boggling, a logistical feat of epic proportions. Yet for all their vital importance, these tunnels are showing their age, straining under the relentless onslaught of daily use. But time has taken its toll. The tunnels, battered by Hurricane Sandy in 2012, now struggle with water damage, electrical issues, and crumbling infrastructure. Stephen Sigmund, Chief of Public Outreach for the Gateway Development Commission, paints a vivid picture. You have a huge water incursion that causes electricity problems and moisture problems, affecting the tracks and ballast. Even when there are no delays, you get delay signals. The situation is dire a ticking time bomb that could catastrophically disrupt the region's transportation lifelines. Urgent action is needed to avert disaster and secure the tunnel's future. The problems extend beyond the tunnels themselves. New York's Penn Station, the busiest train hub in the country, is a maze of confusing layouts and cramped corridors, frustrating commuters and travelers alike. The station's dismal state is a black eye on the city an embarrassment that stands in stark contrast to New York's global stature. Navigating its labyrinthine passages is an ordeal, sapping the spirits of even the most seasoned travelers. Clearly, this critical piece of infrastructure is in dire need of a modern overhaul. The solution seems straightforward. Repair the tunnels, renovate the station, and bring these vital arteries into the 21st century. But in a city where construction is a Herculean task and where disrupting the busiest rail line could grind the regional economy to a halt, a simple fix is anything but. The logistical challenges are immense, the stakes astronomical. Failure is not an option, for the consequences would ripple across the nation, crippling commerce and mobility. Only a bold, visionary plan can untangle this Gordian knot of infrastructure woes. Enter the Gateway Program, an ambitious, multi-billion dollar initiative to expand, renovate, and future-proof the Northeast Corridor between Newark and Manhattan. A collaboration between Amtrak, New York, and New Jersey, the program aims to tackle the region's rail woes without causing a transportation crisis. It is a audacious undertaking, a critical investment in the nation's future. For too long, America has allowed its infrastructure to crumble, its transportation arteries to decay. The Gateway Program represents a crucial turning point, a commitment to restoring the nation's competitive edge and securing its economic vitality for generations to come. The plan is audacious, with multiple phases and components designed to keep the rails running throughout construction. Let's explore some of the key projects. The 90-year-old dock bridge over the Passaic River will be converted from a movable span to a fixed bridge, reducing delays for the many trains that cross it. Cost, $375 million. Completion in 2028. This unassuming structure belies its importance a critical choke point that can snarl the entire regional network. Its modernization is a crucial first step in untangling the region's infrastructure knot.
The century-old sawtooth bridges will be replaced with three new structures, increasing speed, capacity, and safety. Cost, $2 billion. Construction starting in 2024. These aging relics of a bygone era are no longer up to the task of supporting modern rail traffic. Their replacement will usher in a new age of efficiency and reliability, bolstering the region's transportation backbone. The Portal Bridge, a 113-year-old swing bridge prone to getting stuck and snarling traffic, will be replaced by two modern fixed bridges, each costing $1.8 billion. The first is slated for completion in 2027. This antiquated structure has long been a thorn in the side of commuters, a glaring bottleneck that has strangled the flow of people and goods. Its replacement will be a symbolic severing of the region's infrastructure shackles, a declaration of a brighter, more mobile future. Secaucus Junction will receive a $1.8 billion expansion, boosting capacity and accommodating the new $1.3 billion Bergen Loop, which will provide direct one-seat rides from various commuter lines into Manhattan. But the crown jewel of the Gateway program is the Hudson River Tunnel, a staggering $16.1 billion megaproject that will be one of the most expensive public works in American history. Look, nobody has put a heavy rail tunnel under the Hudson in 113 years, Sigmund explains. So the challenges and complexities are enormous. The tunnel, slated for completion in 2035, will allow the rehabilitation of the aging North River tunnels without disrupting service. A truly remarkable feat of engineering and logistics, this new subterranean passage will provide a vital detour ensuring that the region's transportation arteries remain open and unclogged. Once the old tunnels are renovated by 2038, the region will boast a quartet of modern rail tubes under the Hudson, poised to serve commuters for the next century. This revitalized network will be the envy of the nation, a shining example of what can be achieved when bold vision meets unwavering determination. And what of Penn Station? the much maligned hub at the heart of it all. A $7 billion overhaul will transform the station into a single level 23000 square meter facility bathed in natural light, a far cry from the dingy cramped space of today. Gone will be the days of scurrying through shadowy corridors and subterranean warrens. Instead, commuters will bask in the radiance of a modern airy cathedral to transportation. With new entrances, escalators, and improved accessibility, the redesign promises to double passenger capacity. No longer will travelers be packed like sardines, desperate to escape the station's stifling confines. But even as the station's passenger experience improves, a critical issue remains. The limited number of station tracks, constrained by a design from 1910. This bottleneck has long been the Achilles heel of Penn Station, limiting its potential and hampering the region's mobility. But for now, the priority is creating a space commuters won't dread, a bold first step towards reclaiming the grandeur that once defined New York's transportation hubs. The impact of the Gateway program will be profound, reshaping how millions of people commute and travel. We believe that people are going to look back and say, we can't believe that we tolerated the condition that we've tolerated for so long. Sigmund reflects, a sentiment that will surely echo through the ages, as future generations marvel at the short-sightedness and neglect that once plagued the region's infrastructure. From the tunnels beneath the Hudson to the concourses of Penn Station, a revolution is underway, one that will untangle a century of infrastructure challenges and propel the region into a new era of rail travel. A renaissance of mobility, a rebirth of civic pride, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of a people determined to move boldly into the future. From the tunnels beneath the Hudson to the concourses of Penn Station, a revolution is underway. One that will untangle a century of infrastructure challenges and propel the region into a new era of rail travel. So what do you think about this ambitious endeavor? Will the Gateway program succeed in solving the region's rail woes? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.
If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of America's most ambitious infrastructure projects, be sure to like the video and subscribe to Colossal Creation for more captivating stories. Thank you for watching.